In this video, we're gonna be talking about delay. You will notice in the dropdown of the delay that we have two different types of delays. We have the dual stereo delay and the single. We're gonna talk about the single delay. I'm only gonna be discussing the parameters available on the delay and not actually explaining what delay does. When pertinent, I will be given real world uses of how you can use the device. Before I go over any of the controls, let's look up here on the top where we see we have the ability to check a used global tap tempo. Once selected, we now have the ability to use the tap tempo button on the console surface to set our delay time. Now, let's go ahead and look at the controls and features of the delay unit. In the top left here, we have the ability to do BPM sync. If we press this, we now get a numerical display. Once selected, you'll see the value of the delay and it's set to quarter note right now. You have the ability to link the delay so that way the delay times are gonna be the same for both sides of the engine. Unselected, you're able to create different delay types for both the left and the right hand side. One trick in doing this will allow you to create a nice stereo width. We also have the ability to tap in our tempo. If we unselect the global tap tempo button, we can tap in the exact tempo that we wanna have our delay set to. This way, if we have a specific delay time that might be different than the tempo of the song, or if we're using other delay types, we don't wanna link these together, go ahead and use this button to dial in your tap tempo. Down in the assignable controls, we have the ability to adjust all of the parameters of the delay. Here, we have the ability to change the note value, the panning of the delay, the level of the left side, the feedback of the left side, the blend of the left side, the depth, and as well as the rate. In the assignable control buttons, we have the range left, as well as the tap left, which if we press, will change the note values. And then on the far right, we have the ability to tap in the tempo globally. In the bottom right, you see that we have a tap button. This is different than the tap button on the front of the unit to tap in the delay time. However, this controls the rate just above the tap button that we're pressing. If we notice here on the far left, we see one slash three. This is letting us know if we scroll to the right, we have two more additional pages of assignable controls. If we press the button once, we're now on page two of three. This is gonna give us the exact same controls as we had on page one for the left side. Let's head to the third page. On the third page, our assignable controls allow us to adjust the tempo, the low frequency dampening, the high frequency dampening, the low EQ, the high EQ, our wet and dry mix, as well as the output gain of the delay. Down in the assignable control buttons, we have model. And if you look here on the top right, it's changing it from analog to digital type of delay. Here is where we have our global tap tempo button. And then we have our BPM sync. 